Hello guys, welcome to CPR's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making some snickerdoodles and all of the ingredients will be below. You do not have to use a stand mixer, you can actually use a hand mixer. So let's get into these tasty, tasty snickerdoodle cookies. So just quick, I'm going to tell you what we have here because some people like when I do that. So we have a half a cup of butter, which is one stick. We have a half a cup of shortening spread. You can use shortening. If you don't have shortening, you can use a butter spread. A cup and a half of sugar. So I have one cup of white sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar. I have two eggs. I have three teaspoons of vanilla. I have two and three fourth cup of flour, two teaspoons of lemon juice, and one fourth teaspoon of salt is something I use if I don't have salted butter. But I have salted butter, so I'm not going to use the fourth teaspoon of salt. And I have one teaspoon of baking soda. That's what you see right here. So let's begin. This here is some sugar and some cinnamon. You want to get you about this amount. I didn't really measure it, but you can look at this is a regular sandwich bag. And that's how much sugar um, you want to put in it and add to it about a good two teaspoons of your cinnamon. The first thing we want to do is add together in the bowl the butter, the shortening, the sugar, the eggs, and the vanilla. So let's get that in the bowl. Now that all that is in, it is time to mix it all together with your hand mixer and you want to put it on medium speed. If yours have numbers, I would say put it anywhere between four, just don't go over five. You want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees and get your cookie sheets and everything ready. I also have my warming racks over here. All right, so let's begin blending this together. After you blended it in your ingredients look like this it is time to now add the remaining ingredients flour baking soda I'm using lemon juice I don't do the cream of tartar so I use lemon juice and you can do the same it is now time to blend all of this together And this is what you want your dough to look like. And you can get an ice cream scoop or a spoon for the next step. I'm just going to use a regular spoon. And basically, we are done with creating the batter. It is that simple, guys. Now you want to add, I like to do it in a bowl. So I add my cinnamon and sugar to a bowl. And then you're going to take and grab some of the dough. And you're going to roll it lightly in your hand. You don't want to press it too much because this is a semi- wet dough and you don't want to have a big mess so you're going to take it and roll it into the cinnamon and sugar just like that and then place it on your cookie sheet of choice and let me continue doing all of them and i'll be right back all right guys so this is how many cookies i made two almost three dozen from that and some of these are nice and big my husband likes them big so i make them kind of big so yeah guys this is it we're going in the oven at 400 degrees and you want to just make sure that they look kind of golden around the edges or on the bottom i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about let's put them in the oven all right guys in my oven it was eight minutes and this is a convection oven so as soon as you take them out it is time to put them on a cooling rack so get your cooling racks out so that you can start the warming process for these and then you can enjoy so let's put them on a cooling rack all right guys so they have been cooling and they are ready to dig in i'm sorry but i couldn't help it i couldn't help it i had to and they're like really chewy soft sweet cookies that you can enjoy with you and your family mm, 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 mm. i hope you guys enjoyed this video if so thumbs up if you're new to the channel make sure you join my family by subscribing share the video if you have any questions or comments leave them below and i will talk to you guys later caters